With the rise of internet and satellite radio, terrestrial radio, or FM, AM radio, is slowly becoming less and less popular. However, radio stations adapt to this. KRUI, the official college radio station of the University of Iowa, offers both an 89.7 FM station and an internet counterpart called The Lab. Music director Max Johnson talked with me about the differences between the two stations. There, we've kind of expanded what The Lab can do now uh, as, it's, as far as, as the rules go, I guess. Um, so there's a lot more swearing uh, in The Lab, considering it doesn't have to apply, uh, or doesn't, isn't uh, guided by the FCC uh, guidelines, and as opposed to this one, which is, and there's a lot of, you know, just weirdness going on over there. Whereas this is definitely, you know, still aimed at people just turning it on in their cars when they're driving to work still, you know, so. KRUI is a great example of a radio station adapting to the changing times. But what about radio as a whole? I sat down with AJ Honore, director of KRUI, to learn more. Well, radio obviously is not the cultural force it was in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s even 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Uh, obviously, the internet has been wreaking havoc with all sorts of traditional business models. I don't think, I don't think radio is going to go down the tube. I mean, it's going to evolve like it has ever since its genesis in the, in the 20s here in this country. But I, I think radio will be around. It's a cheap enough technology. It's a simple enough technology that it'll be around for a while.